So, for today's video, I will be talking to you about 5 characters I personally believe need to be nerfed in the upcoming patch of 13.0. Please drop a like and subscribe to the channel, it helps you out a lot. So, without further ado, let me get into it. This is actually going to be Order. The character I'm coming, I'm going to be talking about now is the character I think needs to be nerfed, but it's like the least of the 5 that, that needs to be nerfed. There's like 6 characters, honestly, I think really need to be nerfed. I think... We're gonna start off with Min Min. A lot of people might disagree on this, but I personally think that Min Min's a frightening character, and I think we still have not seen the peak of this character, which is frightening. Like, obviously, you have Pink Fresh, you have Proto, Proto Banham that are doing really well with the character. I think the character could be pushed much further, and I just personally think that the character has a lot of polarizing matchups. And just, and just the way the character plays in general, I think it's just absurd. Yeah, so for Min Min, she just has stupidly safe buns from far away. Like, this is ridiculous that she could do this. It's incredibly good. She can also make her aerials, like, pretty safe on shield. It's hard for a lot of characters to deal with. Uh, obviously, there are some characters that can somewhat counter her approaching. What makes Min Min so good is a lot of people will talk about how she has issues dealing with, like, characters in certain spots. While I agree they could be somewhat difficult, like, like a lot of people will bring up, like, oh, you can jump in on her and it's hard for her to deal with that. But it's not impossible for her to deal with it. She has really good buttons to deal with an opponent jumping in on her diagonally for one she has neutral air which like this hitbox perfectly covers like someone trying to diagonally jump in on her like that's a legitimate uh, answer for people trying to jump in on her she has up tilt which is also good for that she has up smash like she has good options for people trying to jump in on her the other thing is obviously she could just not be in that spot she could she could move around you know she has a fantastic grab look how ridiculous this is look at that <laughs> Look how absurd that grab is. Yeah, so people will talk about her not having good answers to like from stopping people jumping jumping in on her, which she does. People also bring up she doesn't have good up close buttons. She does she has amazing up close buttons. She has a jab that's pretty fast. She has a down tilt that's pretty fast. Her down tilt also crosses up the opponent, by the way, which is something that I feel like not not a lot of people talk about. You have Sonic shielding this down tilt you're now behind sonic and like a, a lot of characters don't have good moves to counteract someone by doing that and she low profiles by the way like let's do let's let's do this so i'm gonna hold shield as soon as soon as she, as soon as she's she can act you'll see when she can act so right there she's shielding basically the frame before that she was incredibly low to the ground so that means that a lot of characters either have to do drop shield and be and like have a move that's fast enough to, t to, to punish her from behind them. They're gonna have to do a rising aerial on sh like out of shield, and they're gonna have to hope that their rising aerial hits low enough to hit Min Min like low profiling the way she is. They're gonna need like a two sided up smash, you know, an up smash that hits on both sides, or an up B that can hit. They can use a hit from behind her, and that's something that a lot of characters don't have. Honestly, the only major flaw Min Min has, in my personal opinion, is recovery. And even then, you can kind of mitigate that issue with her attacking because she has like pretty good moves to like <laughs> get the opponent away from her to not be in that space to begin with. She can also do like that smash attack in the air and like kind of get like a, a slight boost. So that helps out a good amount. Doesn't she struggle to land too? That is true actually. Yeah, you're right. She does struggle to land. That is another flaw she has. But again, I feel like at like higher levels, most characters struggle to land. So that issue isn't that big of a deal if that makes any sense. It's like, yeah, she could get juggled. But like if you play a character that doesn't have like fantastic landing options, then you're, then you're gonna struggle to land in my opinion. So that's not that big of a deal. And then plus she has a dive kick that she can throw out, which can kind of help her. Obviously it's not amazing, but still like a mix up option that can work. I mean, she has ridiculous kill power and setups. You guys have seen it. Min, Min literally hits you and then just does like two smash attacks and, and you die. I think the fact that she can do that from that far of a distance is kind of nuts. Personally, the, the nerf I would suggest for Min Min is just to tone down her kill capabilities. Cause I feel like the fact that she can do that is kind of absurd from as far away as she can. So maybe turn, tone that down, potentially tone down her powered up arm. Like, like when, whenever she grabs and throws someone, her arm gets powered up for I think it's 20 seconds. So her kill power is greatly improved. So maybe tone down that ability, like maybe make make her be able to have a powered up arm longer, but just make it weaker. Like I, I don't I don't want to, to make Minion like absolutely horrible, but at the same time, she shouldn't have the strength she has when her, her flaws are just not that significant in my opinion. If that makes any sense, guys. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, next character. I feel like this should not come as a surprise. 
So, in my personal opinion, this is gonna sound weird and, and stupid, especially because I'm putting them on this list where I'm gonna say this, but I'm gonna say it anyways. I personally think Pirate Mithra is an overrated character. Let me explain why. There are a lot of people who think that Pirate Mithra, at the moment, are far above the best character in the game. While I do think they potentially might be the best character in the game, I don't think it's by like a ridiculous margin like 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 people are saying. I think that is where the overratedness comes from. That's not a word. That's why I think the character is overrated. They're comparing Pyra Mithra to like Bayonetta in Smash 4 or, or Brawl Meta Knight, and I don't think they're that level of good. They are an amazing character, but just not that absurd. That being said, I still think they potentially need a nerf. The character I think needs ner needs to be nerfed is Mithra. Personally, I don't. I think Pyro's fine the way she is. I don't think she's that absurd on her own. But Mithra is just really, really good. My suggestion for nerfing her would just be to like give her more end lag on her grounded attacks. That's honestly it. Give her more end lag on her grounded attacks. I would say make her up air like not as strong because I'm. I'm I mean, you've seen, you guys have probably seen it, but like Mithra's up air killing off the top just seems like that's something the character shouldn't have when she already has like amazing mobility like she has phenomenal mobility good air speed stuff like that i feel like the character just should not be killing when, when she's already as good as she is so nerf her kill power increase the end lag on her uh, grounded attacks that's honestly i don't think she, i don't think her aerials need to be nerfed her aerials aren't that good when you look at it her aerials are are pretty unsafe on shield which i think is good even her tilts her tilts aren't like that's aren't incredibly safe but they're just fast that's the problem like they have such little cooldown compared to other tilts that i think that should be kind of toned down if that makes any sense and i mean obviously they they still have like the the uh, recovery weakness like the recovery is not that good like it's, it's very exploitable mithra's on stage presence is just like exceptionally good and needs to be toned down a little bit especially with the fact that she can kill on her own like she, like you actually don't need pyra to kill which I think is the, the thing that makes Mithra so scary. Again, I don't think Pyra needs to be nerfed at all. If, if you really look at her, like, yes, she has good range and stuff like that, but the character that gives you issues is Mithra. Mithra is the problem. Pyra just kind of is character that complements Mithra's strengths. Tiki, thank you for reminding me. Yes, nerf Mithra's grab. Her grab makes no sense. She has Apollo grab when she already has, like, so many other good traits. Yeah. She, her grab needs to be nerfed. I would honestly nerf the grab range of both Pyra and Mithras. Like their grab range doesn't need to be that good when they already have that. So, okay, that's 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 the nerf I would give, I would give Pyra, their grab range. Think of it this way, Mithra has Apollo grab with her mobility. That's insane to think about, right? The ambulance know it's true too. That's why they're coming. The other reason why I think those nerfs should be, should be like be a thing is because I think if Mithra, if Pyra and Mithra don't get touched, there's going to be an overwhelming number of them in like the meta. It's kind of like just one of those things that to, to prevent them from being like a ridiculous number of characters. It's kind of like Palu. Like if Palu didn't get nerfed, there would be so many Palutenas. It would actually be like insane. So next character, I'm just going to do it. It's Steve. Steve, Steve needs to be nerfed. Steve needs to be nerfed. Izal may not agree with me. This character needs to be nerfed. Like 100% they need to be nerfed. This is something that I know, because uh, I've, I've said this before and people don't agree with me. I'm going to say it again. In my personal opinion, Steve has the best combo game of Ultimate. The best combo game of Ultimate. He has so many ways to 0 to 80 you. He has so many ways to 0 to death you. He can 0 to death you from grabs. He can 0 to death you from, from like a jab slash tilt. He has so many ways to kill you. I think that needs to be nerfed. His blocks are... I actually didn't know he did that. But his blocks are really good off stage. So like recovery wise, I'm fine with it. I'm, I'm fine with how his blocks work like for recovery and stuff like that. What I think is the issue is the fact that he can plank with the usage of his blocks. That 100% needs to be removed. So you know, ultimately when you grab the ledge and then you re-grab it, you lose in vulnerability. Well, Steve, when Steve puts a block, he can re-grab the ledge and, and get his invulnerability again. I think they should just remove the fact that he can he can re-grab re the ledge and get invulnerability when he lands on the block. I've seen Yanni, yeah, I've seen I've seen him do it, and it just looks it just looks absurd. I honestly don't even know how to nerf him. I feel like they should nerf his combo game somehow. Like the fact that that his tilts and like are are are, are so fast and have such strong combo capabilities, I think needs to be toned down a little bit. Nerf mining. I don't think the mining itself needs to be nerfed. I just think like his tilts being as fast as they are need to be nerfed. His damage output and like his ability to just like regrab the ledge of blocks. He definitely has like more broken stuff 
But I, I would say like the, his damage output in general just needs to be toned down. Can't agree on him having the best combo game, but also has terrible mobility and a jump smaller than Little Matt. See, the thing about his his mobility <laughs> is that I feel like I feel like at a certain point it doesn't matter because even though he's slow, he has really good tools to kind of just prevent the opponent from going too far like he can kind of block people in with his, his blocks he also has minecart which i mean obviously you're not gonna like 100 use it for mobility but it does like give him like an obstacle that th that they have to worry about in like while they're running away i don't i don't think that's it's that big of an issue especially since like if you have a character that has a, a good combo game you don't want them to be super fast because that's it's broken. So the fact that he's slow and has a good combo game is great. I think it's still ridiculous that he can kind of just convert so much damage or even potentially kill off of such a minor hit. That's the issue I, I think he has, which is why I think he should be nerfed. All right, anyways, next character. Enough rambling about Steve. I think you guys already know what my what the next two characters are gonna be. I think you guys know. Pikachu. Yeah, Pikachu. His character needs to be nerfed. So this, in my opinion, is Pikachu's biggest issue like this is this is the thing that needs to be nerfed the most that look at that look how like with all of his moves he just low profiles there's so many characters that have the frame data to punish pikachu but because he pancakes the way he does they actually can't hit him you know how absurd that is so like on paper a lot of his matchups frame data wise don't look that bad a lot of his matchups are a lot of his moves frame data wise don't look that bad but then you take into account the pancaking, and then you look at the and then you look at the other character's hitbox, and you're like, oh, they actually can't punish this at all because he just pancakes. So that's like the biggest thing they need to fix, honestly. I, I I truly think that if Pikachu didn't pancake as much, he would be he would be way more like manageable. There's like so many times, literally, you'll like Pikachu will do an unsafe aerial on shield, but it's not actually unsafe because again he pancakes. That 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 I think is is the main issue. Pikachu does have like a, a really good combo game, which I think is pretty frightening. The, the pancake is like the the, ma the main issue honestly like he does have some dumb stuff but i don't really think there is i i really think his pancakes like literally the most broken thing about him like actually soft up air combos are they are they are ridiculous but like in terms of nerfing characters i don't want to take away like a lot of their like good traits i just want to take away traits that i think are just like absurd also okay wait actually his up throw i would say the remove his up throw as a kill throw well i don't know why he has a kill throw that's kind of stupid like pikachu does not deserve a kill throw of all characters i would say the pancaking and the up throw are like the main things i would i would remove from pikachu like again he has a lot of really good strengths which i think as a top two character you should have but i think like the pancake is just broken like okay think of it this way guys if pikachu wasn't able to pancake a lot of moves he would struggle in so many more matchups and it's not even like an exaggeration like so many more matchups would be like significantly more doable for pikachu so do you really need to nerf him that much more if he lost the ability to just like outright evade multiple moves i don't i don't think you do i don't think you really do i mean quick attack is absurd too pikachu's quick attack is absurd i i agree it's like that's legit one of the best moves in the game. Yeah, let's just go on to the last character. So the number one character that I think should be nerfed. Joker. Just kidding, it's Rob. Rob. I already did a video on him, so I'm, I'm actually not gonna talk that much about him. I would highly recommend checking out my video. TLDR, Rob just has insanely good moves up close for no reason when he's, when he's a zoning character. Like, it just makes no sense. His down tilt is, I would say it's like, it's arguably the best down tilt in the game. Frame three, I believe, which is, that's insanely fast. Yeah, it's frame three. It's frame three and it's minus five on shield. So you basically, it, it's it's stupidly fast. At certain percents, you can literally like combo the opponent across the stage with down tilt. Fair is pretty good. His neutral air is, is insanely good. I mean, it has quite a bit of startup. His neutral air is active on frame 14 through 32 and it auto cancels on frame 33. So that's that's insane. He has insanely good combos. He has the, the, the side B confirms, which, you know, you already hit someone with side B off stage, they could die incredibly early. You can zero to death with it. Honestly, if I were to nerf Rob, the main thing I would suggest nerfing is his side special. The fact that he can kill the opponent at an insanely low percent with that move is just absurd. My suggestion for, for nerfing the side B would be to 
If he does side B off stage, make him go into free fall. I think that's, that's that's like a fair option to do where he does side B off stage, you know, it goes into free fall, trade stocks. So it, it, it makes it it makes it more risky. Make side B put you in free fall. I think that's like an easy, that's an easy nerf to where the move is still very usable in the situations it, 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 it was used in, but make it more, more like a more like a wolf flash you can kill someone super early but it's but you're gonna trade stocks or you're gonna do it on like your final stock to get the kill you know i think that's fair nerf down tilt yeah down tilt as well i think down tilt definitely needs to be nerfed it just down tilt just needs to be like less safe on shield as much as i hate up air i think i think it's fine like if you die it properly you, you won't die like the issue with with this up air is that it just can be ambiguous like i just don't want to like super super hard nerf characters like i don't want to like like give them like a bunch of crazy nerfs i want them to be worse but I, at the same time i want i want like the tools they have to still be usable yeah this is like this is like a quick a quick quick and simple talk so that's it so let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with any of the characters i mentioned and like the video if you like it and then subscribe if you enjoy the type of content that's it see you in the next video